Hello, my friend. Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, and this is Leslie Fight Master. And this is a 60 minute total body workout. Every time we reach 50 new people on our Patreon site, we will add another 60 minute class. So, this one will start sitting up nice and tall. Have two blocks and a strap handy. Cross out your shins and just take a couple of long, smooth breaths in and out through your nose. Of course, if you're congested at all, breathe through your mouth instead. Start to ground down through your sitting bones and then start to lengthen up through the spine. See if you can grow just a little bit taller as you sit a moment. And now take your hands together in front of your heart. We'll set our intention. May our practice give us strength and flexibility both on and off of our mat so we can become the best people that we can possibly be. And please add your own intention if you like. Let's roll forward and we'll make our way into extended child's pose, keeping the arms forward so that the elbows are straight. Spread out your fingers, arms, shoulders distance apart. Press into the base of your fingers as your forearms lift up and away from the mat. Continuing that steady breath in and out through the nose. Inhales and exhales equal in length. As you take your next inhale, come up, bring your chest forward, drop your belly, lift your chin and tailbone as you exhale, round the back, chin toward chest, and then make your way back into extended child's pose. We'll do that a few times. So inhale forward, widen the chest, lift the chin and tailbone, exhale, round the back, and then press yourself back into child's pose. A little longer breath this time, inhale, Bring the chest through, lift your chin and tailbone up, exhale, one long exhale to round the back and take you into extended child's pose. One more time, inhale, nice, long, smooth inhale brings you forward. Exhale, rounding the back, pull the ribs and belly in, stretch your hips back towards your heels. And inhale, make your way up onto hands and knees table, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and then extend your right leg back, lift it up from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down, pull the ribs and belly in, reach your left arm forward, also squeeze your left hip in towards center. Hold here, find a steady spot to focus on that'll help with your balance. Take another breath and slowly release it. Take a breath here and then inhale, left leg back. Lift it up from the inner thigh, drop the hip down, don't let that hip open, and right arm forward. Point your left toes straight to the floor and that'll help keep your hips level as well. Keep reaching out, pin your right hip in towards center as you breathe here. Keep that steady gaze to help with your balance and release it. And from here, step back your right foot again and extend your left arm forward once again. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, bring your knee and your elbow right to through the center. Then inhale and reach out. Keep the ribs and belly lifted. Exhale, draw it to center like you're moving through water. Make some resistance. Inhale, reach out, drop that outer right hip down. Exhale, pull everything into the center. And again, inhale to reach, extend out, ribs and belly in. Exhale, draw everything back to center. Inhale, reach out through the arm and the leg. And then exhale, set it down back to table. On the next inhale, extend the left leg back. Again, lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down. Watch the low back isn't overarching. Reach the right arm forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw the knee and the elbow in towards center, rounding the back. And then inhale, reach out, extend. Exhale, draw into center, pull in the belly and the ribs a lot. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, slowly again, make your own resistance as you draw it in towards center. Inhale, reach. And exhale, Back to center one more time, knee and elbow. 
reach out as you inhale and then exhale set it all down back to table and then walk your hands about a handprint forward spin your triceps back inner elbows face forward as you come into downward facing dog so it's a little rotation of the outer upper arm the tricep spinning back and the inner upper arm bicep spinning forward and then just bicycle the legs and now bend both knees, stick your hips way up high, stretch out your spine, and then reach the heels toward the floor. Arms are shoulders distance, feet are hips width apart. Take your next inhale, pulling ribs and belly in, and make your way into plank pose, top of a push-up. It's coming. Here it is. <laughs> Chest forward, tailbone toward heels. Exhale, knees can be up or down. Slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, little baby cobra. Peel the chest up and lift the hands as well. Try to stay up as high as you just were with your hands coming off of the mat. And then place the hands back down. Tuck your toes under. Upward facing dog thighs and knees off the floor or stick with cobra and then down dog again. Breathing here. And remember, you can always take your knees down and rest anytime you wanna break. Look forward and step your feet up. Inhale, look up to lengthen and exhale to fold. And then press down through your feet. Inhale with a long spine, sweep the arms up and exhale, bring hands to heart, samastitihi. Come to the front of the mat to dasana. Feet hips width apart or together. Inhale, sweep the arms up and look up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Keep your spine really long. Inhale, look up, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, step into plank pose and lower through chaturanga. Again, knees can be up or down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, always your choice. And exhale, tuck your toes for downward facing dog. Come back to your steady breathing here. Inhales and exhales equal in length, arms and ears in line, and just gaze at your knees or your feet. One more breath in, and then exhale it all out. Bend your knees, keep your hips way up high, look past your fingers, lightly step or hop your feet up, then inhale halfway up, Exhale and fold and press through the feet. Rise up as you inhale. Look up, lengthen. And exhale to Samastitihi. And again, sweep the arms up on your inhale. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at your hips. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, stepping to plank. Lower chaturanga, shoulders no lower than the elbows. Then inhale, shoulders above, wrists for up dog. And exhale, make your way into downward facing dog, stretching all the way back. Usually between up dog and down dog, you shouldn't need to adjust your feet. Every once in a while, a little adjustment, but the tendency is to make the down dog too short. So make sure yours is nice and long so you can stretch out the spine. One more breath in. Exhale it all out, bend your knees, but keep your hips high, look up past your fingers, lightly step or hop your feet up. Then inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold over the legs. Press through the feet, rise up as you inhale, and exhale, hands to heart. Samastitihi. And again, sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Inhale. Halfway up, exhale, step to plank or float back, landing in chaturanga with your elbows bent, then inhaling up or dog or cobra. Exhale, stretch back into downward facing dog. Keep stretching back to lengthen out the spine. Press into the base of the fingers, lift up through your forearms, pull your ribs and belly in and up from your outer hips in toward the midline and spin your inner thighs back as you reach the weight toward the heels. And then exhale it all out, bend the knees, hips high, step or float, feet forward, inhale, look up. Exhale and fold, hips over heels, press through your feet, rise up as you inhale. And exhale, bring the hands to the hearts. Inhale, this time bend the knees, come to chair pose, Ukatasana. then exhale, 
fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale, step or float back through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, stretch back, down dog. One inhale, step your right foot up by your right hand, spin the back heel down, warrior one. Just one breath up, then exhale, one exhale through chaturanga. And inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale back into down dog. One breath here, left foot steps back, foot is flat. Rise up, inhale for warrior one. Exhale and lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, press up through the hands and feet. And exhale, tuck the toes, stretch into down dog. Even out the breath here. And again, if you want a break, take it. Take a child's pose, push the pause button, whatever you need. This is your practice. So pay attention to what your body tells you. Take one more breath in. Exhale it out, hips high, lightly step or hop feet up. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips. Utkatasana chair pose and exhale samasiddhi and again inhale bend your knees into chair pose exhale belly to thighs and then straighten the legs forward fold inhale halfway up look up lengthen exhale step or float back into chaturanga inhale press up through your hands and feet Exhale, stretch into down dog. As you inhale, step your right foot up, spin your back heel down, warrior one. All the way up, then exhale, lower right back down through chaturanga. Inhale, press up through the hands and feet. And exhale to downward facing dog. As you inhale, step your left foot up by the left hand, spin the back heel down, warrior one, heel to heel alignment, knee over ankle. Exhale and lower back down. Elbows in, belly lifted. Then inhale, press up. Exhale, tuck the toes and stretch back. Evening out the breath again here. Arms and ears are in line. Keep the belly and ribs pulling in and up, especially at the bottom of each exhale. Take another long breath in. Exhale it all out, keep the hips high, look past the fingers, step or hop your feet up, then inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale for Utkatasana chair, and then to standing, Samastitihi. Inhale again, bending the knees into chair, exhale and fold forward. As you inhale, again look up, lengthen, keep the gaze forward as you step or float back into Chaturanga. Then inhale, pressing into up dog or cobra. Exhale, back downward dog. As you inhale, right foot step, spin the back heel down, warrior one. Pull the right hip back, knee over ankle. Exhale and ride the breath down through chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, stretch back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, the left foot steps, back heel flat, warrior one. Exhale and lower back down through Chaturanga. And inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretch all the way back. Breathing here. Even it out. Again, try and get your inhales and exhales equal in length. And always return your attention to your breath. No matter what's going on around you, no matter what's going around on inside of you, always return your attention to your breath. You can tell if you need a rest or not. Look forward, lightly step or hop the feet up. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Inhale for Utkatasana. And then to stand, Samastitihi. Take the feet about hips width apart. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, open the chest, look up. As you exhale, hinge from the hips and fold over the legs. Grab your Big toes with your first two fingers. Look up as you inhale and then fold as you exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need to in order to reach your toes. That's always okay. If the legs are straight though, shift the weight toward the balls of your feet so your hips are right above your heels. Reach the crown of the head toward the ground but lift the shoulders away from the ears. 
Again, steady breathing. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bring hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way back up to stand. And then back to Samastitihi at the top of your mat. Take your right foot up into tree pose. Ground down through the left leg. Then draw left hip in towards center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Try and drop your right hip down so hips are level. Keep the ribs and belly drawing in. As you reach up through the arms, spin the triceps forward. Just keep a nice gazing point, some place that is not moving, and then point the knee forward, extend the right leg forward, but drop the outer right hip down, and now keep your hips directly above, or sorry, shoulders above hips. Without touching the foot to the floor, start to bring it back. Lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down, just a brief warrior three, and then back to Samastitihi. Other side, right foot down, pick up your left foot into tree, Press the foot into the leg, press the leg back into the foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Your foot can be anywhere above or below your knee. Stretch up nice and tall through the arms, arrow straight arms. Pull the ribs and belly in, lengthen through the spine. Keep that steady gazing point. Point your left knee toward the front of the mat, extend the leg, hold it up as high as you can. Keep dropping the outer left hip down. And then again, without touching the foot to the floor, bring hands to heart, extend that left leg back, start to drop the outer left hip down, and then inhale, make your way back to center, back to Samastitihi. And now from here, close your eyes, taking Tadasana, just take a couple of breaths and just notice how your body's feeling. Notice the energy flowing and then inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, look up to lengthen and exhale, make your way back into plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale back into downward facing dog. This time right leg lifts on the inhale. Hips nice and level, so drop the outer hip down. Exhale, knee toward nose, shoulders over the wrist, press away from the floor, and then lightly step it up between the hands. Spin the back heel down, lining up heel to arch with the feet. Come into warrior two. Make sure your right knee is above your ankle and it moves toward the little toe side of the foot. So it's directly over the middle toes. Lift your chest, draw your shoulder blades gently towards your waist. Gazing over the fingertips. Now interlace fingers behind you or hook your thumbs. And then bring your hands around your back so they're around the front leg. Then turn to face the side, the long side of the mat, and roll your shoulders back. Take another breath here. Sink in a little deeper if you can. And now straighten that front leg. Keep the clasp of the hands. And bring them behind you and parallel your feet as you exhale. Fold forward over your legs. Prasrita Padottanasana C. Squeeze your outer hips and inner thighs in towards center. Crown of the head is reaching toward the floor. It might even rest there. And shift your weight a little bit toward the balls of your feet with a long spine. Squeeze the legs. Inhale, come up. Then turn right leg out again and bend the knee once more into warrior two. And then windmill the arms down, come to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, press into upward facing dog. Exhale, into downward facing dog. You can always skip the vinyasas as well. Inhale, the left leg lifts from the inner thigh. So we're not gonna open the hip this time. Exhale, bring the knee forward, shoulders above wrist. Press away from the floor and pull your belly in strongly and then lightly step it up right in the middle of the hands. Spin the back heel down, come to warrior two, lining up front heel with back arch. Lift your chest, allow your shoulder blades to relax. Be sure the front ribs are drawing in. Again, double check to make sure your left knee is just above your ankle. It's important to keep the knee safe. And take the hands behind you again. Interlace your fingers or hook your thumbs. And then bring your hands around the back of your leg. And face the side of your mat. So your chest is facing straight ahead. 
and your gaze is facing the long side of the mat as well, but make sure that knee stays over the ankle. Now straighten the legs, take the feet again to parallel, keep the clasp, inhale, open the chest, and exhale and fold over the legs. Again, squeeze outer hips and inner thighs toward center, like you're holding a big beach ball between the legs. Pull up on the kneecaps, firm the leg muscles, crown of the head reaching toward the ground. Keep your spine really long. Take another breath here. With a nice long spine, come all the way up as you inhale. Now turn the left leg out back to warrior two for a breath. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. You can go right into down dog or step to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhaling up and exhale all the way back into downward facing dog. Now is a good chance for a child's pose to rest if you'd like one. Otherwise, just steady breathing. Try to rest here in your down dog. Keep the ribs and belly pulling in, exhale everything out, then right leg up on your inhale. Exhale again, shoulders over wrists, press away from the floor, hold that leg up for a moment, and then step it between the hands again, right in the middle, spin the back heel down. Inhale again to warrior two. Exhale here, make sure that knee is over the ankle. And then this time reverse your warrior, drop the left arm reverse, bend into the right knee. Keep reversing straight in your right leg, reverse triangle, then come up on your inhale, set up for triangle. You might like a shorter stance like I do. Hinge from your front hip crease, reach, reach, reach out and down. Bring your right hand to the block or the shin. Reach up through the left arm, shoulders in line with each other. Look up towards your left hand as long as it doesn't bother your neck. Keep drawing your front hip under you. Lean your torso back over the thigh and press into the big toe mound of your right foot. Now take your left hand to your hip. Look down at your foot, bend the knee, pick up the block, take it six to 12 inches in front of you, float your back leg up. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. If you're steady, extend the left arm straight up toward the ceiling. Keep reaching the left sitting bone toward your left heel. And make sure your right toes are still parallel with the outside of your mat. The heel and the hip of the lifted leg in the same line. Very slowly, hand back to hip and come back to triangle pose. Reach up through the left arm. Stretching that torso forward. And then bring your left hand behind your back for a half wrap. Roll the left shoulder back. Lean the torso back a little as if you have a wall behind you that you can rest your back against. Now, looking forward, bring the hands down. Plank pose, chaturanga, or skip it and go to down dog. Inhale, press up. Exhale, stretch back. On the inhale, float the left leg up. As you exhale, knee toward nose, shoulders over the wrist, press away from the floor, a little rounding in the back here, and then step it through between the hands. Spin the back heel down, come to your warrior two on your inhale. Stretch out the arms, lift the chest, exhale, make sure the knee is over the ankle, then drop the right arm, reverse, bend into the front knee as you exhale. Keep reversing straight in the left leg. On your next inhale, come up, arms to a T, shorten the stance if you like, then hinge from your front hip crease, reach, reach, reach out, and then take the left hand down to the shin, foot, floor, or block, stretch up through the right arm. Press into the big toe mound of the left foot as you're drawing the left hip under you. Breathe here, bottom ribs forward, spin the top ribs back. And the back inner thigh spins back toward the back of the mat. Take your right hand to your hip, look down at your left foot, take a little bend in the knee, pick up that block, take it six to 12 inches in front of you, float the back leg up, so ideally your left wrist is underneath your left shoulder. Stretch the right arm up if you're steady and your right hip and heel about in the same line. Keeps reaching the right sitting bone toward the heel and then take your hand back to your hip and slowly slowly to triangle pose again. Trikonasana. Stretch up through the right arm then inhale Sweep it forward, bring it behind your back for your half wrap. Roll your right shoulder open. 
And again, look up toward the ceiling if it's okay with your neck. Otherwise, look forward or down. Keep firming the leg, the front leg and the back leg. And then looking down, bring the hands to the mat. Make your way into down dog any way you like, through vinyasa or straight into it. Stretching back here again, find your rest in down dog, either in down dog or if it's not very restful, then take the knees down and rest. Even push the pause button if you'd like. If you're continuing on, take your feet as wide as the mat. Walk your hands back towards your feet for malasana. It's a squat. Make sure your knees and your toes point in the same direction. So if your toes point out, your knees will as well. Or if toes point forward, knees will point forward. Drop the hips, then take right hand down. Reach left arm up for a little twist. Now you don't have to go down that low. You can always come down not quite as low. Make your way back to center. And then left hand down, right arm up, twist to the other side. Keep dropping the hips down. Weight toward the heels a bit. Come back to center. Keep the chest lifted and the spine long. Now walk yourself back out into your downward facing dog. Arms, shoulders distance again, feet hips width. And stretch back it really long through your spine. And look up, either step or hop the feet up. Inhale, look up, lengthen. And exhale to fold. Press through your feet, rise up as you inhale, look up, lengthen, and exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Back to Tadasana at the front of the mat. Feet parallel. Inhale, bend your knees into chair pose. Exhale, belly to thighs, then fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale, step or float, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, press through your hands and feet, up dog. Exhale, make your way into downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your right leg up from the inner thigh. As you exhale, lightly step it up by the right thumb. Stay on the ball of your back foot this time. And bend the back knee. Make sure the left knee's over the ankle and then straighten out that back leg as you tilt your pelvis gently forward. And exhale, lean your torso forward over that front leg and bend the elbows like you're scraping them back. Then reach them forward, inhale, exhale, bend and open up the chest. Inhale, reach arms forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms back up into crescent. And then hands to heart, lean forward. Take your left arm across and rest it on the leg. Or you could take your left hand to the floor, right arm up if you wanna twist a little bit deeper. But pull your right hip back, drop it down and try to lift your left hip up away from the floor. Take one more breath. And then bring hands back down to the mat. And again, make your way to down dog, either through vinyasa or just go right into it. Just notice how you're feeling. Do what's best for you. Inhale, left leg up. As you exhale, lightly step it up by the left thumb. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Rise up into crescent, high lunge. Bend the back knee so you can lengthen through the low back. Pull the belly in and then straighten through that leg, keeping all that length. Pull the left hip back, knee over the ankle. Reach up through arrow straight arms, ribs in, and then lean your torso forward. Keep the spine long. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, bend and open like you're moving through water. Make your resistance. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bend and open, and now sweep the arms back up into high lunge. And hands to heart, lean forward, hook your right arm across for prayer twist. So you can stay right with prayer twist or right hand to the floor, left arm up. Now pull your left hip back, drop it down and try and lift your right hip up away from the floor. Lengthen out the spine, getting really long here. One more breath. And then return your hands to the mats and back into plank pose. Chaturanga on your exhale, inhaling up, exhale, back to plank this time. You can step your feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot, left arm up. You can take your bottom knee down if you like for more support. Bring your top hip a little bit forward so it's just above your bottom hip. 
reach your sitting bones towards your heels, Vasisthasana. Then take left hand to hip and come back to plank pose. Holding plank, step the feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot, right arm up. Again, take the bottom knee down for more support if you like. Bring your top hip slightly forward so hips are in line. Reach sitting bone toward heels and pull the belly in and up. Take the hand back and come to plank pose. Either go right into down dog or exhale chaturanga. Inhale upward dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips, stretch back into down dog. Make sure arms are shoulders distance and feet are hips distance apart. Take the knees down, take a little break here if you like. Or not, you can continue holding your down dog. Either way, totally your call. But do keep steady breath. Sometimes if we can't keep the breath steady, it means we need a break, so pay attention. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, draw it in, shoulders over the wrists. And then again, step it up by the thumb again. Stand the ball, the back foot, same thing. Crescent pose, bend the back knee so you can lengthen through the low back. Then hover over the front leg. This time, step up onto that left foot and lift, or sorry, that right foot, lift the left leg up into warrior three. Drop the outer left hip down. Arms can be by your sides or you can keep the arms forward by your ears. That's a little trickier. Now slowly bend that front knee. Make your way back into crescent, then straighten the leg. Maybe walk it in a little. Left hand up, right hand to your low back. Left hand down for twisting triangle. So the left hand can be on the inside or the outside of the foot. The little toe side of the foot's a little bit more difficult, but pull your right hip back so your hips are level, then lengthen as you inhale, twist a little deeper as you exhale. Feet are heel to heel or even a little bit wider than that if you're wobbly. Take another breath here. Squeeze the inner thighs toward one another. Now take your right hand down, bring your left hand forward on that block if you have it and float the leg up. That same leg, reach the right arm up. Twisted half moon pose. Left leg is up, point the toes down, drop the outer left hip down. And then slowly, slowly step the feet together. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Once again, look up. Bend your knees, come back into chair pose. And then fold again into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float yourself back into Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing into up dog or cobra. Exhale, use the belly muscles to transition to downward dog. Inhale, the left leg back and up from the inner thigh. Exhale, bring it forward, shoulders over wrists. Use the belly muscles to hold you, then lightly step it up by the left hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Keep a little bend in that back knee so as you come up, you can lift your hip points towards your lower ribs. Make sure that you're not overarching the back. Reach up through all four sides of the waist and then lean your torso over that left leg, stepping up onto the left foot. Lift your right leg up for warrior three. Drop the outer hip down. We want hips to stay level here. Arms can stay by ears, that's hardest, or swing them back. Arms by your sides, it's a little bit easier. Then slowly back into crescent pose, and we'll straighten that front leg, maybe shorten the stance a bit. Take your left hand to your low back, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the block, inside or outside of the foot. Again, little toe side of the foot's a little more difficult. Lengthen as you inhale, twist as you exhale, pulling the left hip back as you twist. Imagine you have another block that you're holding in between your legs, and you're giving it a good squeeze. Every inhale, create length through your spine. Then bring the left hand back to your low back, pick up your block, take it over to the right side of the mat now. Stepping up onto that left foot, lift the right leg from the inner thigh and stretch up through the left arm, twisted half moon. Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Keep reaching through the leg and the crown of the head like you're being pulled in two separate directions. Then look to center and step your feet together. Take your feet hips width 
and grab your elbows and hang. Let the crown of the head hang down. Bend the knees here as much as you like and gently rock yourself side to side. Good work. Let your arms hang down lightly. Nod your head yes and turn it no. And then hands to hips with a nice long spine. Come all the way up back to Tadasana. Let's bring the hands to the heart again. Close your eyes a moment. Next inhale, bend the knees again to chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And as you exhale, stepping back to plank, or you can hop back, land in chaturanga, lower from plank, inhale, pressing up. And exhale, make your way back into downward dog. As you inhale, float the right leg back and up. Exhale, lightly step it up. Stay on the ball of the back foot once again for crescent, high lunge, pull the right hip back, send the left hip forward, pull the ribs and belly and lengthen through the lower back. Then hovering forward, as you're ready, lift the left leg up once again from the inner thigh. Really balancing, focus on our balance today. This time exhale, hands to the floor or to blocks. And to standing split, maybe hold your right leg with your right hand as you lift that left leg up, lift it from the inner thigh, keep dropping the outer hip down so your hips stay level. And then walking back forward without touching your right foot to the floor, bend the knee, start to walk your fingertips back and sit right down on your bottom for Navasana, boat pose. Knees can be bent or straight, but lift your chest and keep your spine very long. Breathe here. It's good core work in Navasana. And then cross the ankles, press your hands down, lift your butt up off if you can, and then step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up, and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward lightly by the left hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot as you come up into your high lunge once again. Bending the back knee for a moment, pull the left hip back, lengthen through the lower back. Keep the arms in line with the ears if you can, or you can always swim them back. Step up onto the left foot, lift the right leg up from the inner thigh, pull the ribs and belly in and keep the chest wide, widen through the collarbones. And slowly bring hands to the floor or to the blocks. Option to take the left hand to the left ankle as you lift that right leg up from the inner thigh. Crown of the head is reaching toward the foot or toward the floor. Keep lifting the leg as much as you can without letting the hip open. Then hands to the floor, start to bend your right knee without touching it to the floor. See if you can swing it through. And again, land right on your bottom for Navasana. Knees bent or straight, lift your chest. Pull your belly in and breathe. Now cross the ankles, lift your buns up if you can, and then set yourself back down and lie onto your back. Shoo! Set up for bridge. Heels under knees. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel. Pull the belly in, press into the heels, lift into bridge, maybe rolling the shoulders under and interlacing the fingers. Keep the chin away from the chest, spiral your thighs in toward one another. And breathe here. Steady breaths. And slowly lower down. Take your soles of the feet together, knees apart, put a hand on your belly, hand on the heart center, close your eyes, and just think of something that you want, your heart's desire. What do you want to bring into your life? What would you like to manifest? This is a great time to do it. Let's come up again. You can do another bridge, or you can grab a block, do supported bridge, or if you want to take wheel or to put down your asana, bring your hands up by your ears, fingertips face the heels, pull the belly in, first press to the crown of the head, line up your wrists and your elbows, make sure your elbows are parallel, then start to straighten out 
the arms. Keep reaching your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees and lift your hip bones towards your low ribs. To come down, chin into chest first and then lower yourself down. Again, hand on the heart center, hand on the belly. Come back to your heart's desire. What do you want to bring into your life? What would you just love to have, be, or do? Take the feet again to the floor. Grab a block if you've got it. Lifting up, put the block right at the base of your spine, right on your sacrum. And it should feel comfortable. If it doesn't, move it around a little bit until it does. You can have the block on any height for right now, low, medium, or high. Make it comfortable. Keep the chin away from your chest. And just breathe here. It's a little rest. in your inhales and your exhales equal in length. Now, take the block down to the medium or low height and then lift your legs up. As you lift up your legs, gently draw your outer hips and inner thighs toward center. And breathe here. Got to use your belly muscles a bit to help you be stable. Just a couple more breaths. Here's our little inversion for today. Begin to slowly bend the knees, bringing the feet back down to the floor. Move the block out of the way. Roll down and now hug your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg forward. Point your left toes up to the ceiling. It says Ekapada Apanasana. And then switch. Draw your left knee in, extend the right leg forward. Point your right toes up to the ceiling to keep the right leg active. It's a nice little way to unwind our spine after our back bends. And then drawing both knees into the chest, start to rock yourself back and forth. Take two or three rocks. If it doesn't work to come up that way, roll to your right side. Use your left hand to impress yourself up. Crossing at your shins. And then extending the legs in front of you. Bend your right knee. Keep the left leg extended. Janusharsasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Turn a little toward the straight leg. Hinge from your hips to come forward. Lengthen on your inhale. Extend forward on your exhale. Keep drawing that outer right hip down. Pulling the left toes back and pressing the left heel down into the mat. And instead of letting your back round, see if you can lengthen it out as much as you can. Nice, long, smooth breaths. And then head up as you inhale and release. Now bend your left knee for Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together. Sit up nice and tall. Hold your feet as you inhale. On your exhale, hinge from your hips. Again, coming with, forward with a nice, long spine. So again, instead of letting the background, we try to keep the spine long. Keep the chest wide and shoulders away from the ears. So relax through the shoulder blades. Relax your jaw and any place else that you generally hold tension. Inhale, come on up with your long spine. And now keep your left knee bent, extending right leg forward. Pull the right toes back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips forward. Lengthen as you inhale, extend forward as you exhale. Gently drawing the right hip back and outer left hip drawing down. Press down into the right heel, pulling the toes back and keeping the right leg firm. Steady breathing.
Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. And inhale, lift your head. And exhale, release. Take the soles of the feet together again. This time, stretch them forward about a foot in front of you and then fold forward and we will round down this time. So forehead toward the feet. You can let your back round as much as what's comfortable. And just double check that your shoulders aren't up around your ears. Let your shoulders relax a bit. Come back to steady breathing. Imagine your inhale starts at the base of your spine and inhales all the way to the crown of the head. And then exhale all the way from the crown of the head back down to the base of your spine. And then inhale, come on up, crossing at your shins. Make your way forward into plank pose. Then exhale through chaturanga knees, can be up or down. Inhale, up dog, or you might like cobra this time. Exhale back into downward dog. Inhale your right leg back and up. As you exhale, we're going to bring it forward for pigeon pose, Ekapadarajo Kapatasana. So if pigeon bothers your knee, instead do this. Roll onto your back, take your right ankle just past your left knee. Otherwise, if the knee is okay, make sure hips are le level. So if you're rolling onto your right hip, put a blanket or a pillow under there. Lengthen the spine, inhale, you can stay up or exhale, make your way forward any amounts. Now really try and relax and surrender everything here. Sometimes if we're tight in the hips, our body will grip and hold on. It's a big muscle to release. So see if you can let it go. Try and relax the hips and the shoulders and the jaw and everything else. But do keep a little lift in your belly. Just a couple more breaths, making sure all five toes are pressing down on that foot that's back. A nice long pigeon pose to unwind, release, relax. If you like this pose, you're loving this. If this is not your favorite pose, you might not be enjoying it so much, but do the best that you can and just try and focus on your breathing. And inhale, come up, take your left forearm down to the mat, right arm up, twist, or option to bend your left knee and reach back for it with your right hand. Be careful of your lower back here, so keep pulling in through the belly. And then slowly unwind, tuck your back toes under, sweep your right leg back and up, stretch it out a moment, and then set it down. On your inhale, sweep your left leg, or sorry, on your inhale, come to plank, chaturanga, or not. You could stay in down dog instead. Inhale, up dog, exhale back into down dog. Inhale, now left leg up. As you exhale, bring it through for pigeon pose. So your left ankle's over by your right wrist. Now, if that knee hurts, even if the other one didn't, still come onto your back, take your left ankle just past your right knee for thread the needle instead. If you're good with pigeon, stretch your right leg straight back behind you, lengthen as you inhale, and make your way down as you exhale. Or you could stay up. And again, just notice if anything comes up for you in this pose. This one, because we're stretching the hips, and the hips are in the second chakra, sometimes has to do with holding emotions in our body so there could be some information that's being held in your body that your mind might not be aware of could be a past trauma could be not so intense but something and that could be bringing up feelings 
And if that happens, it's completely normal. Just know it's completely normal and do the best that you can to just breathe through it. Allow your body to surrender, relax, and let go. And a nice long pigeon pose. You might be loving it. You may not be. Regardless, take an inhale and come on up. Right forearm parallel with the front of the mat. Sweep the left arm up. And then option to bend your right knee and reach back for the right foot. Again, watch your back. Don't want to hurt that. Take a long breath in this little twist. And slowly release the foot and tuck your toes under and stretch your left leg up and back. Just stretch it out and take it down to the mat. You could stay right in down dog or again inhale to plank, exhale back through chaturanga, inhale up dog or cobra and then exhale back, downward facing dog, stretching all the way back here, our last down dog step or lightly hop to come to a seated position and then turn to the long side of your mat and take your legs out nice and wide point your toes and your knees up toward the ceiling and bring your right arm on the inside of the right leg reach your left arm up you can stay there or reach your left arm over in line with the ear but keep the sides stretching in your body so avoid rounding forward toward the center of your mat or even toward the front of your right foot. So you're going to try and roll your top rib cage back. Keep pointing toes and knees up toward the ceiling, firming the legs. And then inhale, make your way up. Bring your left hand to the inside of the left foot by the ankle if you can reach. Rolling the chest open, right arm up, stay there or reach it across, maybe even holding onto the foot. Now see if you can roll your right rib cage, the top rib cage back. As you lengthen from your left hip crease through your left armpit, and stretch out the side body, both sides. Keep the toes and knees pointed up, press heels down, firm the legs. And then inhale, come on up. So keeping toes and knees pointing up, hands behind you, sit up nice and tall. You can stay there or hinge forward from your hips, keeping the spine really long. So instead of rounding down so that your head will reach the floor, hinge from the hips forward and come forward with a nice long spine. Keep drawing the outer hips, spinning them down toward the floor, but knees and toes point up. This is Upavista Konasana. Breathe here. Again, this one can bring up feelings. I mean, really any pose can bring up feelings, but a lot of people hold them in their hips. Come halfway up and then all the way up. And then take your legs together. Face again to the front of the mat. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Sit up tall. Take your two fingers around your big toes and then lean back and lift your feet. If it's hard to reach the feet, hold on to your legs instead. Exhale, extend the right leg out to the right. Try to balance on the sit bones. Inhale, slowly bring it to center. Exhale, the left leg out to the left. Again, you can hold the leg instead of the foot and you don't have to straighten the knees. Bring it back to center, lift the chest. This is more about core work. Exhale, extend both legs out. Keep lifting the chest, pull the belly in and up. Keep the spine as long as you can. Take a breath here, chest lifted. Now keep the legs up, release your toes and take your palms together and see if you can keep your legs up. See if you can keep them from falling down and then grab those toes again. Take the feet together or you can hold the legs and then let them go for Navasana. 
and then slowly take the feet back to the floor. Sit up tall, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hinge from the hips, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extend, Paschimottanasana, forward folding. Again, the best we can, we hinge from the hips instead of rounding the back. So when we come forward, we lead with the chest, belly toward thighs. And that's mostly because we do a lot of upper back rounding anyway in our day, right? We're on our phones, we're on our computers, we're driving, we're not paying attention when we're sitting, our upper back will round. So we want to do the opposite in our practice. Inhale, head up and exhale, release, cross at your shins. Sit up nice and tall, hands resting on the knees, palms facing up. Touch your first finger and thumb together. Take a big breath in and an exhale. Just a couple long breaths here. Holding the breath in at the top of the inhale and then slowly releasing it down. Now think of three things as you breathe here. Think of three things that you're grateful for. Any three things that come to mind. Continue nice, long breaths. See if you can lengthen your inhale a little bit longer each time. And then make your exhale just a little bit longer than your inhale. And then bring to mind again those three things that you're grateful for. Just a few more moments here in our seated meditation. Again, focusing on your breath. Keep it as long as you can now. Still keep it comfortable. And one more time, think of those three things that you're grateful for. Just one more breath here. Make it a nice long one. And then let your eyes softly blink open and cross your knees. And roll down onto your back. Keeping the knees a little bent, take your hips over to the right, drop your knees over to the left. You could also cross your right knee on top of the left knee if you want a little deeper twist. Look over the right shoulder. Bring your head to center, bring your knees to center, pick up your hips, shift them to the left a bit, drop your knees over to the right. And you may also cross the left knee over the right if you like. Look over the left shoulder, as long as it doesn't bother your neck. And then head to center, knees to center. Reach your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees and draw your shoulder blades gently toward the waist for Shavasana. Extend the legs out. Let your feet flop open. Bring your arms by your sides. Let your palms face up. Close your eyes and rest here, Shavasana. As you're resting and getting settled, I have a quote from Mary Jean Erian. Normal day. Let me be aware of the treasure you are. Let me learn from you, love you, bless you before you depart. Let me not pass you by 
in quest of some rare and perfect tomorrow. And now just take a few moments to rest here. I'll be back shortly. And to take some longer breaths here. I'm very proud of you for sticking with your Shavasana. Sometimes it can be the hardest pose, but it is the most important. Start to make movements in your fingers and your toes. Stretch through your arms and your legs. Make a long stretch. And then bend your knees, roll off to your right side. Pause a moment to revisit the intention you set for your practice. And using your left hand, make your way up to seat it. And sit up nice and tall with the shins crossed, bring the hands together in front of your heart. Bring your hands to your forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart center, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending out this positive energy, this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you were here. If you don't mind, push the subscribe button because I would love it if you were part of the Fight Master Yoga community. But most importantly, enjoy this day.